Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, so in our previous lesson, we have looked at cost volume profit analysis. And as a reminder, it is also known as break even. If it is that you have missed that lesson, the link will be in the description below. Today, I'll be focusing on break even points. At the end of this session, you should be able to calculate break even points in units and break even points in sales dollars. Before I go any further, let's just look at what is break even. Break even point is a number of units that need to be sold or the amount of sales revenue that has to be generated in order to cover the cost required to make the product. Basically, the level of activity in, in units or dollars at which total revenues equal total cost. And bear in mind that you can use break even as well to determine the sales necessary to achieve a specified level of income, basically your target income. For example, your business has spent $300,000 to produce 200 items. What you're wondering, how many of those 200 units do you need to sell before you can actually cover that cost that you have spent, that 300,000 that just cost you to produce the 200 items? In that case, what you're doing, you're wondering, oh, is it that how many units you need to sell in order to break even? We're now going to look at the formula in calculating break-even points in units. And that is fixed cost divided by contribution margin. But how do we calculate contribution margin? Because the fixed cost will be there in the question for you. In order for you to calculate contribution margin, that is selling price minus variable cost. So basically, break-even point in units is fixed cost divided by SP minus VC. So when you minus your variable cost from your selling price, remember that is your contribution margin and break even point in units is fixed cost divided by contribution margin. Now, how do we calculate break even point in sales dollars? That is fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. Or oh, do we calculate contribution margin ratio? It is simply your contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. Now, another way in which you can calculate your break-even point in sales dollars is to multiply the break-even points in units by the selling price and you will get your break-even points in sales dollars. Let us now look at a question and this question is taken from the Collins Cape Accounting Study Guide and it reads, Natalie Mark has fixed expenses of $30,000 per month and each chemical product as a selling price of 5,000 and variable expenses are 2,500 per chemical product. So selling price per unit is 5,000 and the variable cost per unit is 2,500. You're required to compute break even in units, break even point in sales dollars, and two, to prepare a CVP income statement. Let us look at part A of number one, and that is to calculate break even in units. To calculate break even in units, remember your formula is fixed cost divided by a contribution margin. How do we calculate contribution margin? Remember that is selling price minus variable cost. Let us go back to our question and pick up our selling price and our variable cost value. The selling price is 5,000 and the variable cost is 2,500. Let us look at our response for contribution margin. And that is simply the selling price of 5,000 minus the 
variable cost of 25, and that give us a contribution margin of $2,500. With that said, we are now able to calculate our break-even point in units, but we need to recall the value for fixed cost. Let's get back to that question. The value for fixed cost for the period is 30,000. So our calculation is 30,000 divided by our contribution margin of 2,500, and that give us a result of 12 units. So our break-even point in units is 12 units. Now we're going to look at part B. Part B, we are asked to calculate break-even point in sales dollars. How do we do that? It is simply fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. So in order for us to do our actual calculation, we need to determine what is our contribution margin ratio. To calculate contribution margin ratio, it is simply or contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. Let's go back to the question to determine the contribution margin per unit. And that is 5,000 minus 2,500. So that is your selling price minus or variable cost. And that will give us 2,500. So our calculation for contribution margin per unit is 2,500, that is our result. And our selling price per unit is $5,000. So therefore our contribution margin is 2,500 divided by 5,000 and that gives us a result of 0.5. Remember, if you want to put this in percentage, all you have to do is to multiply that by 100. Now that we have our contribution margin ratio, let us ascertain our break-even point in sales dollars and our fixed cost, remember that is 30,000 divided by our contribution margin of 0 0.5 and that gives us a result of $60,000. So our break-even point in sales dollars is $60,000. As a matter of fact, there's another way in calculating break-even point in sales dollars, and that is simply break-even unit multiplied by selling price per unit. And remember, our break-even in unit is 12, that was calculated in part A, and our selling price is 5,000. So when you multiply that 12 units by the selling price of 5,000, you get your break-even point in sales dollars. So simply your break-even point in units multiplied by your selling price per unit give you your break-even point in sales dollars. So whichever one you want to use, you go ahead and do that. But bear in mind that there are questions that may ask you to calculate your contribution margin ratio. So you still need to know how to calculate that. Okay, let us now look at number two from the question. And that is to prepare a CVP income statement. So in, calcul in preparing that, in preparing that, we are going to pick up our sales for the period and to get your sales for the period, it is your break even units multiplied by the selling price and that give us a result of $60,000. The sales is $60,000. The variable cost, remember that the cost price per variable item is 2,500. So we're going to multiply that 2,500 by the break-even units, and that gives us our variable cost, which is 30,000. Once we have that, we're going to minus this variable cost from our sales to give us contribution margin, and that is 30,000. Now, once you get to that stage, you're going to subtract your fixed cost, and from the question, the fixed cost is 30,000, and once we have that, we can generate our net income. Contribution margin, less fixed costs give us our net income, and that is zero. Okay, so remember, break-even aids in determining the 
amount of units that must be sold in order to cover the cost to produce those units or the cost to cover services that you have offered. So basically, you want to know how much you need to sell in order to make back that money that you have spent in order to get those products or to get the service ready. Okay, and that takes us to the end of this session. In our next session, we will look at calculating targeted income, using break even to calculate targeted income. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.